Now return to Brittany Unzipped on Dateline with Stone Phillips. If Brittany was trying to stay out of the public eye during her time off from recording and performing, well, she wasn't trying very hard. The paparazzi followed Britney everywhere she went, and she almost always gave them something to see. It sure looked like Britney actually wanted to land on page six, the gossip page of the New York Post. There's been a consistent sort of dirtying of the image, you know, like if you take like distressed jeans, you know, and they're really nice and they come out of the factory and then they keep messing with them and messing with them and like, what can we do to mess them, mess, just throw a little dirt on our... Sometimes not the kind of dirt a girl wants to hear. Ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake and hardcore rocker Fred Durst, who Britney says she never even dated, both went on the air saying they'd had sex with the country's most celebrated self-proclaimed virgin. Tell me And it wasn't just the boys talking about Britney. Other young female singers like Avril Lavigne seemed to be marketing themselves as anti-Britneys. Whole pop thing, show off your belly, dance around with your background dancers, lip sync, whole deal thing was really popular for a long time. Avril Lavigne sent out some mixed messages about Britney in an interview she did with Dateline last year. I'm not made up and I'm not being told what to say and how to act so they have to call me the anti-Britney, which I'm not. I think that's very rude and very mean. I think it's a dumb game. Good, 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 good. Keep that smile. But Britney is 21 now, and all that talking behind her back doesn't seem to get to her so much anymore. This spring, she had finished her break and gone back to the recording studio. The Britney Spears publicity machine was about to kick into overdrive to promote her new album, In The Zone. Beautiful, darling. Chin up a little, yes. And when Britney Spears wants media attention, Britney Spears usually gets media attention. This fall, she appeared topless on Rolling Stone and bottomless on Esquire. Chuck Klosterman watched the Esquire photo shoot, then interviewed her for the magazine. We had a discussion about whether or not she sees herself as kind of a sexual icon. And uh, it's not that she denied it. She honestly acted as if this had never crossed her mind. Wait, was this just an act, Chuck? Was she, did you think she was just sort of playing a dumb blonde? I'm not sure. I mean, it's, she is either like the most savvy entertainer I've ever dealt with or the least self-aware person I've ever met. As for all that semi-nudity, Brittany insisted it was no big deal. Growing up in her house, she said she used to walk around naked all the time. After all, it's hot in the South. Chuck was put off by what he saw as Brittany's denial. But Rob Haskell, who wrote the Britney profile in W, had a different take. There's something so refreshingly guileless about her. You know, I've, I've met so many celebrities and there's always that kind of mask of perfection. But with Britney, you really do sense that you're with a real person. She squeals, she burps, she giggles. You know, it's frickin' this and frickin' that. Britney seemed to like Rob too, and she gave him a big scoop. She had been sure that Justin was the one, she told Rob and they had consummated their relationship. So, surprise, surprise, Britney Spears was not a virgin. As if to underscore the point, she posed for the most controversial pictures of her career. It was the best-selling issue in W's 11-year history. Joe Z was the stylist for the W photo shoot. I'm not a prude or anything, <laughs> but I have to admit, when I opened that magazine, Joe, and looked, I was like, oh my God. You know, you see, you see chains, you see things that look like S&M bondage. I mean, it does take a lot of people aback. I, I have to admit it, it is very tough, it's hard, but at the same time, I think it's so interesting that she can cross those borders and push those envelopes. And Britney still had an envelope or two left to push. Next, the story behind the kiss. We are home kid. Yeah, baby. When Britney Spears Unzipped continues.